Let's talk about the differences between a dovetail saw, a carcass saw, and a tenon saw. The progression of saws goes from dovetail to carcass to sash or tenon, and then tenon saw. The dovetail saw here tends to be quite a bit smaller. You've got a lot less saw plate under the spine, whereas you know, as you work your way down to uh, a full-size tenon saw, uh, some people might call this a sash saw, uh, then you've got a lot of room under the spine and the saw plate is actually quite a bit longer. But there are a lot of differences that uh, you can't see until you start measuring things. Uh, for instance, the, the thickness of the saw plates is much finer and thinner on a dovetail saw because you tend to be working with uh, more accurate cuts, more fine cuts, finer stock. And then as you move to a carcass saw or a tenon saw, you go from about 15 thousandths of an inch saw plate thickness to about 25 thousandths of an inch saw plate. So that's nearly double the thickness. Um, you also uh, start to have differences in the number of teeth per inch or points per inch. So your finer saws, uh, your dovetail saws will have more teeth per inch. They'll have a higher TPI number or a higher pitch. Uh, whereas you'll have a little bit fewer teeth per inch on the rougher saws and the tenon saws. And that's because you want more, you want bigger gullets between the teeth to carry the sawdust through the cut. Uh, so you're, you know, you're going to be making bigger, heavier cuts. So you're going to be creating more waste with each stroke, and you need room for that sawdust to go. The other thing you might see a difference in is the hang of the blade. So the hang is basically, it's just the angle, the angle between the back of the saw and the tote of the saw. So a lot of times with the finer saws, you tend to start your cuts with the part standing on end. So when you're holding the saw, you're, you're going to be cutting at a steeper angle. So a lot of times the, the handle is tilted more upright so that you don't have to get down really low to hold it. You don't have to twist your wrist into an uncomfortable position. So another big difference is that dovetail saws are pretty much exclusively rip saws. They're filed rip and that has to do with the geometry of the teeth but you typically don't cut dovetails in, across the grain they're they're more vertical than they are angled so you tend to use a rip saw that's technically a rip cut uh, when you get into a carcass saw and the tenon saws a lot of times you have a choice you can get either a pair you can get a rip saw and a cross cut saw as a as a pair of carcass or tenon saws or you can do what i tend to do which is uh, get something that's filed hybrid, so it's sort of a blend between a rip filing and a crosscut filing. And we'll get into that more later in a different video, but just know that if you're buying a dovetail saw, it's going to be filed rip. And if you're buying a carcass saw or a tenon saw, it's going, you're going to have an option between rip, crosscut, or something in between. Think of the, the tenon saws on the big end of the spectrum and the dovetail saws on the small end of the spectrum or the finer end of the spectrum, and then carcass and sash saws kind of float in the middle.